actually drag and drop a certain part of your session and it will find instruments. It will find sounds for you. So we're going to drag this in here just like that. Really, it's processing now and let's see what it finds. It's, it's analyzing it. You guys get the gist of the session. Let's play it. Okay, right? So let's see what it found. They have finally done it. Avid just released the Pro Tools Splice integration and we have it here. Let's talk about it. What's up, Archie Beats here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. Today we have Avid Pro Tools Splice integration here in the home studio. Now, I don't know about you guys, but me as a film composer and music producer, sometimes when I bring those film scores into Pro Tools and I'm about to mix them and there's something missing. I've played all the instruments, whether I'm recording at home here, writing the music inside of my DAW, or I'm recording in the orchestra. When we get to that mixing process, sometimes there's a little something missing, not necessarily instruments, but just an ambience, an overall just kind of feel and sounds. Something like a bed that goes under it that actually bring the emotions out in that score. Or if I'm producing an R&B song or hip hop song, and there's just something missing, the vocal production is tight, everything's tight, but something is missing. This is where Splice comes in at. Um, and it's cool that we actually have this fully integrated into Pro Tools. Pro Tools is what works for me when it comes to that recording process, that mixing process, and that just finishing touches. A huge thank you to Avid for giving me early access to this and for sponsoring today's video as well. Be sure to check out the links in the description for Splice and the Pro Tools integration. So you guys definitely wanna jump in on that. And Avid also includes, with the Splice integration, you have a free account with included sounds so you definitely want to check out Pro Tools and the Splice integration below, but we're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump on the screen and we're going to do the walkthrough on how this thing works, what is going on here. And um, let's take a look. So here is our screen here. We have Pro Tools pulled up and actually I'm scoring a short film right now. Um, and this is a cool scene right here. I can't talk too much about it, but you guys are listening to and seeing one of the music cues that I've started the process of mixing. I'm scoring it and I'm also doing a re-record mixing and we're doing Foley here, um, my wife and I in the studio. So you have your home with the instruments genre, cinematic, and you can drag and drop in here. You also have the play button down here and your key and your BPMs and your sound and your library is over here. You can do collections, the ones that you liked, um, right here from your account once it's fully integrated in you can refresh it and once you refresh it You know all of your stuff should be there, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting there So then your settings that's your subscription information Basically, it's your subscription signed in and email stuff that's located over there But as you can see, it's pretty simple you can search the library manually, or you can do some of the cool stuff that we're about to do now. This is a track. It's a modern hip hop track, kind of trappish. Produced this record, and I just bounced it out, and this is how it sounds right here. It's, it's not even mixed yet. And that guitar got a little grunge um, distortion in the bottom. That's what you got that. It's kind of hitting that sub just right to get that distortion and we may you know do some side chaining or some triggering and we'll figure that out but here is the session here and as you can see we have splice over here in the corner as soon as you do the update with pro tools the splice integration is actually in this section here so it's already there and you have to do a walkthrough of getting started and they're gonna ask you a couple of questions or whatnot, but it's a really quick situation here. And I actually signed into my account already with Splice, but if you don't have an account and you download the new Pro Tools, you do get a free account and you do get some free sounds from Pro Tools. But if you already have the sounds, you don't have to worry about that, just log into your account. When you sign in, you get access to your account and you don't have to do too much. So here is the integration. And if you guys use Splice, you already know the walkthrough. You can select the instruments and the genre, the kick, the vocals, and we can spread this out. We can bring it out to a standalone screen by itself here. And let's get rid of those clips. Or we can go back, let's just go back to it and do it this way because I feel like this is really cool. Let's expand it out a little bit. I feel like this is cool to view it right here. This is insane. So you can go through your genre, your kick, instruments, you can do instruments, genre, key, BPMs. It's the splice situation here. It's the typical splice. It's 
the GUI that I am accustomed to. Let's try something. Let's do an extra drum in here. So I already got a hi-hat, so let's see what the hat's looking like here. And let's see the genre hip-hop. Let's dive in. Let's do, there's no point of doing a key. Let's do the exact BPM, which is 30, 131. And let's do loops. Yes, loops, 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 loops. So let's see. And I have this track already here, but you guys are going to see something cool. Let's audition it. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and bring it in here. that we're gonna keep that let's see what else they got in here okay that's kind of okay so I'm happy with that man I'm happy with that so let's <laughs> that, that's actually pretty cool and like I said you can go and manually search the sounds or here's the cool part you can actually do let's go to let's just see let's let's do some testing man you can actually drag and drop a certain part of your session and it will find instruments. It will find sounds for you. So we're going to drag this in here just like that. Really, it's processing now and let's see what it finds. It's, it's analyzing it, but it found something here. So you guys get the gist of the session. Let's play it. Okay, right. So let's see what it found. What we're gonna do? <laughs> what we're gonna do? That is awesome! Whoa! I knew it was gonna do that. It's, it's able to hear even the progression, the chord progression, the tempo. It actually analyzed it overall, and just that's cold. So imagine if you are creating a, like I said, a film score. And you got your strings down, you got your timpanies, your, your your cellos, everything's in there and you like it. And then, But there's a scene where the emotion changes, right? And the emotion changed more to a, um, a more a sad moment. You can actually take different instruments and flip and loop and just do different things and just chop it up and dial in exactly the emotion that you're going for. Or you can just take something to actually bring out the excitement or the emotion by putting a simple bed track under it. It could be a drum. It could be um, like you could, the sky is the limit with this. So I think that when you create things like this um, and your audience can think for, these are the type of products that I actually think are necessary <laughs> for the space that we are in, in pro audio, music, music production, wherever, um, anything dealing with sound. I think tools like this are very helpful. And if you're a podcaster or something and you're really confused on what you should add to your, um, you're not really musical like that and you have a few people working with you in music, you can actually add things to it and bring out the sky's the limit y'all just it's about being creative and having tools that can actually really contribute to what you're doing to move forward so i really do hope that you all enjoyed this video if you have any questions about pro tools and splice integration be sure to comment them below i've been a certified pro tools operator of music for well over a decade so if you guys have any questions about pro tools or anything be sure to comment below and ask away. I love to talk to you guys. So don't forget to check out the Pro Tools Splice integration in the description below. And um, and don't forget to be great and create. Hey, this is your Bar Beats and I'm signing off.